Hello everyone and welcome back to the Helium Show. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Panther X2 and we'll review some of what's in the box and uh, some tips for getting started. So we'll start by taking off the plastic packaging. There it is. It's really beautiful packaging, honestly. Alright, so let's check out what's inside. It's got a nice pull-off packaging. You'll see some instructions about the interface, and uh, this is helpful. One thing that did get me at first is there is a Bluetooth Connect button. You're going to need like a, a toothpick or a um, paper clip to be able to press that Bluetooth button. Otherwise, you actually aren't going to be able to set it up. So you will need that. Um, when I went to my friend's house to install one of mine, I uh, had to find one of those. So that's something you're definitely going to need. And then we set that aside has some padding, which is always good to protect it. And then pretty simple here, we've got the Panther X2. And this is really, really, I think some pretty gorgeous packaging. Um, overall, it's kind of nice. You have indicator lights as well, which most other miners, a lot of other miners like the racks don't have. So if we set that off to the side, then we also have the power here, which, uh, it's a nice, a nice length cable. I'd say it's about the same as the Rack Miners. Um, it's not USB-C like Rack, which is a little bit different, but that is uh, pretty solid. And then we've got, oh, hey, I didn't even, there we go. So that that's actually, I didn't even see that in there. And this, this is what you can use to activate the Bluetooth there. So then you have, they've got their Discord, they've got their um, Twitter there. So that, that is actually really helpful to include that. That's pretty nice. Then of course they've got their antenna, which is pretty simple antenna. What I'm gonna be using is actually a rack 5.8 like I always do. But still, if, you're, if you just wanna set this on your windowsill and forget about it, this will work. I'm always gonna be a proponent of you know upgrading and getting a good antenna to maximize earnings. But Panther X2, I've really enjoyed it so far. You can see the photo of where I installed it. At my friend's house and it's, it's a little bit bigger profile than your racks and and you know mittids um but it is thin you know so it isn't too much of a problem but um i also you know plastic enclosures i like the feel of metal technically durability metal probably is better um, but this the big thing here is this guy arrived in 25 days me ordering it and that is a pretty big deal so there you have it, a quick unboxing of the Panther X2. It is a very appealing design. Plastic enclosure versus metal, but I ordered this and 25 days later, it arrived at my door. And that's pretty amazing. The only downside, if you haven't done it before, is ordering uh, with crypto can just be a little bit scary for first time people, uh, but they use um, Coinbase Commerce and you can buy these with the crypto on there. You cannot use a credit card or debit card, what have you. You have to use their crypto purchase platform. But for 25 day delivery, you know, and that might vary, you know, call it 30, maybe 40 days, that's pretty unbeatable. And at the price point of, you know, with the fees to use Coinbase Commerce and do any transfers you have to do, you know, call it 700 with tax, $700 for each of these. It's pretty unbeatable for even getting something scalped on eBay right now. So overall, very happy with it. Haven't had any issues so far with the uh, sync times and, and overall setup time. I've actually think it's a little bit faster than Rack. And you can see that there is an SD card port here um, that obviously you could up, upgrade your SD card, but it does say that you avoid the warranty, so that's really up to you. Overall, pretty happy with Panther X2s. I'm definitely going to make it a big part of, of uh, the fleet, and uh, I'll be sure to report back how it goes. But hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a like and subscribe for more. Once again, my name is Benjamin Kachaturian. Thanks for watching The Helium Show. Until next time.